Now, since I got this part in from eBay, this is the alternator puller that I had for my that I have for my Dio. That fits right over there, right in the middle of that fan, right there. Okay, that's like a uh, I don't know, 20 millimeter. Now I just got this one in, right next door to it. Does the same thing. This one has uh, two different sizes on it. It has the same size as the D uh, the Dio right here, but this size fits the Ruckus. So let me show you the correct way to get this this uh, this flywheel off. First thing we have to do is hold the flywheel in uh, in place while we take this nut off right here. Okay, because this turns. You see, as it's it's turning right there. Well, the crankshaft's turning with it because of the woodruff key, and I'll show you that when it was on here. This is a 17 millimeter nut. I've loose. I've already loosened it up, so but I'm going to show you how to do it. What I got was this neat little holder tool from Motion Pro and it's called a Motion Pro 8270. It has a set of small pins on one side and larger pins on the other which fit a variety of things. What they do is they fit in these little holes right here. And this one has a, a, a stopper on it which is real good. So what you want to do is line up your um, your holes to your application right here and this is hard to do hard as hell to do with one hand let alone two. Get on there damn it. Okay so I'm just going to show you because it's already loose. Anyway I put I put that on there and it the bottom hits the ground then I take my 17 millimeter socket which is right here and I put it on there and I twist the nut off and the nut doesn't have any lock washers or anything like that this is just it's on the right hand side of the crankshaft remember that the right hand side of the crankshaft is right here the left hand is right over here and that has a variator so we have to get off the electronic components this spins around with the crank as the crank moves or the piston moves the electronic guts inside here are stationary and they're bolted right to the motor so the next thing we do and I'll show you how this works and I don't know if I can do it one-handed but this is where the neat little tool comes in handy and some of these uh, mopeds have crank crankshaft tools which are worth, they cost more than Ferraris, especially bearing, bearing pullers. All right, let's go on to part two.